today is Tuesday. It is March 30th. And if you could please stand up, join us in the Pledge to the Flag, the Metcalf Mission Statement, and our moment of silence. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At Metcalf School, we believe all students can achieve academic excellence and become lifelong learners and productive citizens. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. We would like to wish Noah Giuliano a very happy Metcalf birthday. So in case you're wondering why I'm hanging out here in my kitchen, it's because we're talking about food again. I love to talk about food because food is like my favorite thing. And we're going to talk today about an Easter candy that's kind of infamous. People either love this Easter candy or they hate this Easter candy. There doesn't seem too much in between. And that Easter candy is the Peep. Now, what I didn't know was that they made Peeps in all kinds of flavors. They have the original marshmallow, but they also have this lovely, look at this, birthday cake flavor. They've also got one that's blue raspberry, love that. Then they got this one, it's Fruit Punch. And then one more, I got the Jumbo Pack because I'm assuming this is gonna be my favorite, Cotton Candy Peeps. Now to me, that's delicious. I love Peeps, I love Cotton Candy. So I'm gonna do a quick little taste test with you guys. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you I've never had any of these before. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Peep. I think I like the least and work my way up to the peep that I think I'll like the best. I'm starting with the birthday cake. If I hold this up to the camera, you can see it's got like that birthday sprinkly cake kind of look to it. I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't taste any different than a normal peep. If you like peeps, you're gonna like this because it just tastes normal. I'm trying not to talk with my mouth full. Okay, next up, I got the blue raspberry peep. Here he is. It smells like blue raspberry. I do enjoy blue raspberry things. Blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers are absolutely my favorite. All right, let's see. It's pretty good. Definitely has that blue raspberry flavor. I would definitely get eat a few of these. Good. Good. Next up, we've got the fruit punch peep. Smells like fruit punch. If you can't tell by my face, I do not like it. It tastes a little bit like cough medicine and nobody wants to eat a peep that tastes like cough medicine. Get rid of that thing. All right, so next up, 
my favorite flavor, cotton candy. Here he is. All right, let me see. Not a lot of cotton candy flavor, I'm not gonna lie. It's good. Maybe a little cotton candy flavor at the finish. It's all right, it's okay. Anyway, this wasn't a super wonderful food sampling video since I didn't really love any of them, but uh, just wanna talk to you guys a little bit about self-care. And that's like the buzzword that everyone's talking about right now. We're not out of this pandemic thing yet. We're still wearing masks. We're still not able to really gather in big groups. We're still trying to protect ourselves. So self-care in this case is kind of finding ways to make yourself happy. Now today it's Sunday, it's raining at my house. All morning I kept thinking, I have all those peeps sitting on my counter and I can't wait to go make that video and taste all the peeps in front of the camera. I was thinking about it all day, I was very excited. It ended up being a little disappointing, but I was excited. So maybe like try something new. If you're ordering from Arcadia Pizza, pick something off the menu that you haven't tried before, something you could be excited about. Um, if you're ordering Domino's Pizza, get the pineapple on the pizza and see if pineapple on pizza is good. Think of things that will make you happy that you can actually do. You might not be able to go to Disney World, this week, you might not be able to go to the store and buy a brand new Xbox, but you could ask mom to buy something at the store that you haven't tried before. You never tried pineapple before. She could grab that. I remember one year a kid had never had an avocado before. If you can think of something to make yourself happy, that's what self-care is. It's different for everybody, so figure it out and take care of yourself. I've got 5,000 more foods to eat.